been some controversy in the past about the added value of very high SPF sunscreens. And there's certainly advantages and disadvantages. The concerns with the higher SPF is that the marginal protection, let's say 50 to 100 is only 1%. But the fact is that people do not apply sunscreen at the tested rated amount. So the real advantage of the high SPF sunscreens are that they're more forgiving in real world use. We did a study that we published in JAD comparing SPF 50 to SPF 100, and it turned out it was a split face, double blind study in skiers at Vail, Colorado. And it turned out that the SPF 50 side was 11 times more likely to sunburn than the SPF 100 side. And this was in a, a sunny environment equivalent to about 25 MEDs per day of exposure, but the higher SPF made a significant difference. And I think the real reason is more forgiving. There's controversy now whether there should be a cap of SPF 50 plus or 60 plus, but there's real disadvantages to the cap. One of the major ones is if you're a fair skinned person, you may not know if it's a 50 plus, is it a 51 or 100? And you may need the higher protection to do it. And also there'll be no incentive for companies to make a better sunscreen if they get no credit for it. So research and better sunscreens will really drop like that. So for all those reasons, we're not in favor of a cap because of the fact the higher SPFs are more effective. One of the things that's currently being looked at is the issue of the higher SPFs with higher concentration of sunscreening agents being absorbed into the blood and being measured in the plasma. The fact is though, that there's no data to show that that's dangerous. Almost everything that's applied topically is absorbed. And therefore what happens is uh, you see levels of the plasma, but nothing has really been shown of the hypothetical things that have been suggested. We're gonna be seeing a lot more research in this area in the future because it does impact on the higher SPF sunscreens. The challenge when we discuss with our patients how to use sunscreen is to make sure they use it correctly. People typically apply 25 to 50% of the rated amount. They're only getting 25 to 50% of the actual protection level, so that's a problem. People also don't reapply enough. Sunscreens begin to degrade at about 90 minutes, and by two hours, they're down to less than 50% of effectiveness. So people, if you're out in the sun, must reapply on a regular basis to get the best protection.